hey how are you guys doing so i know my brows look super duper crazy <laughs> um if you want to see how i did these super duper bushy brows um make sure to check my recent upload um i think that's going up before this but anyway um if it is up i'll link it down below if not then uh, make sure you stay tuned for that i know it's a bit much um they're super duper bushy oh my goodness but i'm low-key like really liking them i know they look super weird but yeah i'm actually kind of liking this look anyway so today um i'm just gonna be doing my makeup and having some fun with colors um and then i'll try and do a neutral lip instead of a bold one because i have been doing a lot of bold um lip looks um so yeah i'm just gonna see what i come up with i'm thinking i'm gonna do like pinks because i haven't done pinks in a while um so we'll see what i come up with and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe please please i would really appreciate that i'm trying to hit um 200 subscribers before the end of 2020 and it's like near end of november so i only have a few weeks left so again if you haven't subscribed please please subscribe to my channel and if you do like this video if you do watch it to the end make sure to give this video a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that as well um so yeah let's get on with the makeup look i'm gonna use a new concealer i'm so happy like you know when you get new makeup you're just so excited um so this isn't new new i've used this before um but i haven't used it in a long time it's the la girl pro conceal and i am gonna use that to prep my eyelids just squeezing out a bit and i can see it's coming out um like i said i'm gonna use that to prepare my eyelids for eyeshadow because i have a lot of hyperpigmentation and i cover that up so that the shadows will have something to stick to as well as um show the true color and not let my hyperpigmentation peek through so I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette and I'm taking the shade um, Lolly Mama and Certified. So I'm going to mix those two shades together because I want like a lighter um, pink. So I'm just mixing those two. I'm going to place that here um, in the inner part of my crease. And then blending that up. So I don't know why I'm starting here, but this is just where my my brain took me. So we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so we have something like this. Now I'm gonna take um, Tipsy Girl and a mixture of Oh Hello. Um, that's how Jacqueline Hill says it um i hope i said that right and i'm gonna place that on the crease and just define i want a harsh line here so i'm gonna keep my eye open a bit and look straight to my mirror and just make this part deeper So once you know where you're going, you can like lift your eyebrows. And I'm using an angled brush for this. So I can get like the line that I want. And then just stopping right there. Alright, so we have something like this. Then I'm going to take the first um, brush that we used. Um, with the same shade Certified and Lolly Mama, so just a mixture of those two. And I am going to blend above 
this line that we created. So don't worry about it being perfect right now because um, we'll get to blending and making that harsh line again. I just want to go back and blend up here. So you don't have to like follow the steps that I'm doing. Um, you know, you do whatever way you're comfortable with to achieve the look but yeah i like to take my time with makeup and just play and blend and see where that takes me so that's what i'm doing i'm not sure yet like with many of my looks i don't know how this is gonna turn out and i'm i'm not sure about it right now but I kind of have like this vision in my head and I'm gonna see if I can execute it are those even like symmetrical I'm not sure but we'll roll with it okay so I'm taking um oh hello on an angled brush and I am just gonna create like a a wing here on the outer corner just the shape the general shape that I'm going for and, and then I'm gonna take that mixer again um, certified and lolly mama and I'm gonna blend the edge here so just flicking it inwards Again, you don't have to worry if you're blending the shades too much, I mean, out here because you can always, like, clean that up later. So just keep going until you are happy with how it's looking. So again, going back to Oh Hello. And what I'm doing is I'm placing the color or the brush on the edge and then just flicking in. I think I want this part darker so I'm gonna grab um, Crazy still from the same palette. Just intensify this outer part here. okay so that's looking a bit crazy and i still don't know how this is gonna end but let's just roll with it so i am going to pick up um grateful so it's that like shade there i am gonna place that on the rest of my lid where there is nothing there So again, I'm experimenting here and just playing around with makeup. I absolutely have no clue if that will even match or look good, but we're doing it. Okay, so as I get to here... I am going to blend this color up here. So I'm going to stop from where that harsh line is, this right there, and I am going to blend out. I haven't used this shade Grateful. It's actually really nice. It's like a brown orange type of shade. And I am liking it. So just packing that all over the lid. Okay, so I'm taking um, Certified. So just the white shade. And I'm going to attempt to blend this part out here. With that white shade. 
because that's just looking a little harsh so yeah i think that helped and again we're gonna clean this part up later so i'm not even worried about that let me just darken this part more with the shade crazy because we're going crazy with this look Okay, this is what we have so far. I am actually really liking it. I know it's not for everybody. Like, it's extremely bold on the eyes. Um, but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm just playing with makeup here. And I hope that you can play with makeup when you're at home too. And just enjoy creating something fun. Um, so yeah, I'm liking how this looks right now. Of course, I'm going to put some um eyeliner on and hopefully try to put some lashes on again i'm still practicing with that um and do my base off of camera and all that jazz so i will be right back to finish off the look okay so i have my base on now and i'm gonna take um crazy and mix it with oh hello and i'm gonna smudge that on my lower lash line but just the outer corner um, I'm not going to go all the way like here, just the outer corner, just to give like some shading here. I mean, you could leave it and just do the top lid part because that's pretty bold. But I just want something out here. So just a little spoke. Yeah, okay, I'm liking that. So next, I'm going to take um, Rider Diamonds, this one right here, on the same brush. I just wiped it off, and I'm going to place that in my inner corner. Um, and I think this is going to look good. Let's, let's give it a try. So this shade is actually just like a topper. Um, there's not too much pigment on it um it's just full of tiny tiny glitters and oh my goodness yeah i like that okay i'm just gonna <laughs> keep packing that on here because i am liking how that's looking when it hits the light do you see that oh my goodness i'm gonna blend it like a bit towards the inner part of my eye or my lid rather Woo! i love that i absolutely love that inner corner highlight oh my goodness i'm so glad i tried that because i think that's gonna be my staple inner corner highlight now so <laughs> i'm gonna finish off um everything off of camera like my mascara my liner my lashes um and then i will come back and let's do the lips all right so we have the eyes done we have some liner um mascara and some lashes now let's finish off the look with the lips so i'm gonna use this um this is the Too faced melted chocolate in the shade chocolate milkshake so this is what it looks like so again, I'm going with a nude. I would really love to go with a bold lip, but I think that's just like way, way too much. So we're going to go with a nude. Um, so I'm just going to squeeze some out and apply that on my lip. I can't talk while I do this. Well, I can because it's going to be really hard. And this is the finished look. So I hope you guys had fun watching me play with makeup. Um, you should also play with makeup. It's a lot of fun. And just like mix it up with your eye look and use all different kinds of colors and shades that you never thought you'd actually use like me right now. I never thought I would use these shades combined 
all together but I think I think it looks okay I think it looks fun I think it looks nice so thank you so much for watching and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure to subscribe please I would really really appreciate that I am trying to hit again 200 subscribers before the end of 2020 um, I just want to end 2020 with a really, really good note. So please help me out with that. And if you did like this video, if you did watch it all the way to the end, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. So um, I'm just going to do some awkward posing. And I hope you guys enjoy. So that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!